Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management. In the previous session, we started talking about Six Sigma and the different tools of quality that we can use to analyze processes. In the first of these tools, we're going to be talking about check sheets. Check sheets are very, very simple. It's a structured way of collecting data, and it's particularly easy to use a check sheet for high frequency data. It doesn't take long to learn how to use it, and most people can use them uh, very easily. Let's see what a couple of these check sheets look like. And the one on top here, we have a human resource department that is collecting information about what kinds of questions they receive on a daily basis. So on the left-hand side, there's questions regarding health insurance, disability insurance, sick time, and so forth. And then they check it by day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So within a week, you can immediately see that the most frequent question is paid time off with a high value of 47. And the least frequent is about payroll errors. When we look to the one on the bottom left, we're looking at defect types in which case we could have uh, rusted supplies, misaligned welds, and so forth. And we're counting what is wrong. These are particular defects that we are noticing in manufacturing. Then when we look at another one on the right-hand side on the bottom, this one is evaluating the traffic for model homes. What is causing people to come into a model home? Whether it's a newspaper ad, a website, road signage, and so forth. So these things that are happening with the check sheet is that we are collecting information so that we can do a further analysis for it. So when we develop a check sheet, the first thing we need to know is what data are we trying to collect? Are we trying to collect information about defects or problems? Are we trying to collect information about uh, questions people have. So check sheets can be used in all different areas of an organization. When we define the categories, we have to be extremely specific with regard to no overlap. What I mean by this is that if you have five different people and they're confronted with the same information, they would put the check in the exact same category. There wouldn't be any confusion as to which category this check should be. So if we say that there is a bad weld, we have to say that a bad weld would look like a particular thing so that everybody agrees that this is a bad weld. If we say low pressure, we would have to have a specific amount of pressure that would indicate it's being low. So everybody agrees as to what these categories are, and then we train all of the users so that they all know how to use those check sheets. And that's it. That's the simplest way of collecting information. You develop a check sheet, you train your users, and then you go ahead and use it. And we collect a lot of information this way, and you'll see most organizations use it. In the next section, we're going to be talking about scatter diagrams. We're going to be looking at whether there's two variables that actually have some relationship to each other. I'll see you then.